Warriors Unite! Back with another episode of Mega Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well on this Labor Day weekend. Uh, hope you're resting a little bit, catching up with a little bit of rest, relaxation, uh, doing some of those things that kind of get you continue to be better off. Uh, more high value male that you can become every day, masculine male. Uh, make sure that you uh, you know continue to give me tremendous feedback. I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate your uh, topics. We're gonna you know cover a lot of those as we go through. I'm gonna catch up with some shout outs as well. So let's do that first. Uh, John Jennings, thank you, my friend. Richard Beeler, thank you. EA7, thank you. Don Trump, thank you. On the boosters, 207 days. Keep it going, my friend. Doing great. Wavy uh, slash deer, thank you. Uh, Colin and Chekhov, I think. Thank you, my friend. Typhoon Bride, Brides, thank you. New subscriber, thank you. Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the channel. Jo Jojo Aces, thank you. Uh, Sleepy Sage, thank you. Cameron Vaughn, thank you. God's Gladiator, all the tr uh, traditional people, thank you, my friend. TKO, John Jennings again, thank you. Geodu, uh, thank you. Harold Mer Merriweather, thank you. Alvin, great people. I appreciate you guys' continued support. That's wonderful. Los Angeles Constantine, thank you. Boudica uh, Chamanan, thank you. Uh, Kinsman Mission, thank you. Uh, Bed Bedway Music, thank you. Jojo Aces, two more, thank you. User, thank you. Dawson Boyer, Nathan Zarr, thank you, my friends. Geo do a second one, thank you as well. Um, God, uh, Amen God first, thank you, my friend. Mr. Fred Webb, thank you. And Roller Coaster Coin, I think it, Roller Coaster Coin, thank you. So it's three months, keep it going, my friend. Congratulations, great job. Okay, so our topic for today, uh, comes us from Golden Eagle, I think it is, Golden Eagle. And Golden Eagle is asking uh, a good question here. We're talking about long-distance relationships with SR, with semen retention. So long-distance relationships under semen retention, are they good, bad? You know, he's kind of asking the question. So let's kind of delve into it because this is an interesting type of topic to look at. Because nowadays, a lot of people are finding, you know, uh, relationships online. They're starting relationships online. They're kind of getting together more online using the technology than we did back in the old days. And so it is something that is probably a good topic to discuss. There are good, like anything else, there are good and then there's challenges to this as well. So let's kind of think about this in terms of retention. So let's take a step back a little bit and look at what retention is again. The reason we talk about all this is because you want to save your energy. You want to save your energy because a high value person, a male, female, is a person who keeps God's energies within them. Not shooting their energies off, watching pictures or having intercourse every night of the week or whatever it might be, finding different partners, all that kind of stuff. We go back to the Bible. We always talk about the Bible. We talk about, you know, things and your creator and your relationship with your creator. And all those things go back to keeping God's temple within you and keeping yourself, uh, you know, a wholesome type person so that you're getting all the benefits that God is giving you in abundance with all the things you do. So one of the things that happens is God will give you abundance when it comes to relationships and, and kind of, you know, having that strength that it can attract people to you. And then you have to kind of decide, make decisions. So humans are a little different than, you know, other animals and species. They have more of a, a decision-making process where they can go through and say, we can make a decision or we can't make a decision on something. Um, but, you know, and that's once again, good and bad. I mean, the good side is that if you follow God and continue following God, you'll make a lot of good choices because you're following the ways of the, of the Lord, your creator. Uh, and, and those of you who are not Christian, Catholic people, it's your creator. When I talk about God created, I'm talking about your creator because I want to recognize um, that it's important to have a relationship with the person who created you. And I think that's really a key type of thing. Now, when we talk about this, we're talking about then looking at good and bad types of things. And so basically we're talking about, obviously a person has their own mind and they're able to do make choices, but if they don't make the right choices and they don't have their creator, their God, in this case, my God, Jesus Christ, in mind, then you're making the wrong choices as well. This is why, year, this is why years ago and still in other countries, 
there's things like arranged marriages or arranged relationships because the thought is that the two young people are too intimate, too physically attracted to each other to go ahead and make wise decisions. And so the parents who see this can make a better decision from looking from the outside in than from those two people who are really kind of intimate and attracted to each other in that way. So the thing is, as we look at this, the key thing is to kind of realize that when we're talking about them, is looking at your decision-making process. So how does it affect the long-term relationships? Well, you could decide to get together with a person and have a good, uh, a long-term relationship. And that means that you're not in proximity with the person most of the time, someone else is in a different distance than you are, and that's something you're gonna continue as a relationship. Well, we kinda know that from all the things we're talking about here, that the good part of all that is the fact that you're not with that person to be able to be tempted. Now, if you're able to not be with that person, then one of the things you can do is kind of weed out a lot of the people that may not be you know, your type or someone who kind of fits your values and those things. And you can kind of see that before you actually start meeting the person and talking with the person. That's, a, that's probably a good part of this. This is probably the good part of it. The part of it that you're not really kind of interacting, you're having a longer distance relationship and you're getting to know the person more and more by the way they're responding and by the way they're acting. And so their actions will speak a lot louder than the words will. And so as time goes on, you'll be able to see that. And I think that's a key type of thing. So anytime you see people on the internet, whether it's, you know, uh, Twitter, you know, TikToks or Facebook, whatever it might be, and whatever, wh whichever one you use, Rumble, things like that, you're talking to people, you're just kind of, you have a, you have a superficial kind of long-term relationship with those. Unless you know the person outside of that social media, then you're basically kind of developing, even if you've known the person, knew the person a long time ago, still like talking to a stranger, especially after 15, 20 years, maybe you hook back up with them online, which is a great thing in some ways, but also again, people change, different things happen, and all of a sudden now it's kind of like a stranger in some way as well. So you're establishing that, so from a long-term standpoint, this is a good thing for SR in some ways, because you're basically going ahead and kind of weeding out people little by little who don't kind of follow what you're looking for in a companion and a person. And obviously, when you're not together, you're not gonna have that temptation as often to have intercourse. Now, when you do see other person, and maybe you know you see the person, that's a danger point because now all of a sudden, now the emotions get heightened, you're looking forward to seeing a person, and now you could have, especially if you're younger in your 20s, and you, know, you could go ahead and have that crazy behavior and all of a sudden have yourself being tempted you know, with that person. And that could happen very easily. So the downside of long-term relationships is that, especially with uh, long, I'm sorry, long distance relationships, we're talking about long distance, if I said long term, I mean long distance relationships. When we talk about long distance relationships, what we're talking about then is you can see the person, you know, and develop a friendship, but then the emotions become higher and higher when you're actually going to see that person. And so now, because you know you're not going to have a lot of time with the person because because you're, you've got to go somewhere or they got to be somewhere, and all of a sudden now it becomes more of a, a long uh, distance relationship again, you might be tempted to go ahead and have that you know, intercourse with them. And that's obviously the time that you may then release and that becomes, that becomes a problem. So if you have that control and you're able to put controls in so that when you do actually see the person, you're not gonna you know, kind of lose your emotions and go ahead and do that, then I think that's a wonderful idea. Um, but obviously the other aspect of this too is that when you're not with the person, now you're more susceptible to start thinking about that person. And if you start thinking about the person and you know, imagining them, all that kind of stuff, the imagination you know, goes fonder, the heart goes fonder when the person's not there. And all of a sudden now you're tempted to start you know, looking you know, and thinking about that. And that could also lead you down to temptation as well, losing your energy in, in different ways. And even when you're looking at pictures, it may give you more time to do that. So again, the tough part about long distance relationships is the fact that you know, you've got to come up with a different type of system and how you operate under senior retention or brahmachari or celibacy. 
celibacy, I'll talk about it in terms of celibacy because celibacy is probably the easiest way to understand this. So if you're celibate, you, you really have to have a strong level of willpower to be able to say, okay, if this person's living a long distance away and they're visiting me or I go visit them, I'm not gonna go ahead because it's an intimate, high, high emotional meeting because you don't see each other all that much. I'm not gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and kind of have intercourse with that person. And so I'm not gonna release, possibly have a release. That's a tough situation. And the same thing then goes when you're not with the person, it's very easy to fall into habits of you know, watching stuff, you know, pictures and things like that. And then of course then you know, releasing as well and having a problem that you might have to do that. So this is a killer. Once again, we talk about masturbation as a killer and you have, to, you have to stop doing that kind of stuff. So this is why it's key to be able to learn that willpower Having willpower for a long distance relationship is tough because you're going to be tempted, you know, around you, wherever area you're in, you're going to be tempted. That other person, she's going to be tempted, especially if you're younger. It's not an easy type of situation. So as you look at this, you have to kind of think to yourself, is this the right thing that I want to do? I would say you're probably better off if, unless you're really serious about this person and she's serious about you and you think it's really gonna be something that's can be a beneficial thing for both person, and this is somebody you want to eventually, you know, settle down with, then I would say that's, you know, it's probably something you can decide on doing and it's not gonna really kind of hurt you. But once again, you're gonna to have to have extreme self will, self control. In this society, that's not easy to do. Um, especially if you're battling this whole thing of retention as it is, to add that component to it is not an easy type of thing to do. But some people have succeeded with it and they eventually get together, uh, especially as people, you know, if they're off to, you know, serving in the military and are in a different country, they come back three, four years later and, you know, they, they can hook up and, and get back together and get married and things like that. that. That has happened many, many times. But you have to have a strong will and you have to have loyalty from both ends of it. And nowadays when you see things, I hear so many different stories about the loyalty level is down because people think that it's, okay they have a high body count okay to go sleep with people it's not a emotional thing it's physical and all this kind of stuff and they feel it doesn't hurt them well i think i think that we found in uh, especially with retention and all that it hurts you every time you're releasing and especially if you're not doing the procreate and all of a sudden now you know know whose dna is with who and all of a sudden now you're talking about a lot of crazy types of things that can occur but you know, people nowadays think that they're very liberated, though this has been happening for thousands of years and it's just a repeat of another historical type of trend in, in humanity. But the thing is, is that we have to kind of exert that willpower. So long distance relationships can be successful, but once it's in Golden Eagle, but once again, I think the whole key, the whole thing is gonna be able to say, okay, is this what I'm really looking for? Each one of us is different. Each one of the warriors are different. And if you're, uh, being a warrior, the key thing is to have a person who, 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 who helps you and has helped you, but they happen to be a long distance way right now, then I said, that's fine. I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not going to go ahead and start dating other people, right? You're not going to go ahead and start, you know, having intercourse with other people. You're not going to go ahead and do that. So, you know, the danger is obviously with not having a person, it's easy to fall in the trap of saying, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and you know, look at pictures or do things that, you know, go out with other people and things like that. That's not something I recommend. Once again, I think the key is in all of this, focusing on your goals, focusing on your creator, focusing on the things that are important with God in your relationship. And I think in that case, then you forget about a lot of the other stuff dealing with, you know, temptation and things like that. And once again, I think that if the person is meant to be with you, they'll continue to communicate with you and eventually you'll get back together. But the thing is, is that once again, when you get those single meetings, you have to be very careful that your emotions don't ride really high and that you exert the self-control. Whether she does or not, you have to kind of say, you have this self-control and I'm gonna exert that as I do it. And then obviously the whole thing is that, you know, we need to kind of think about, is this person helping me or not helping me? And I think as time goes on, you'll see that. And as I said, as you get to know the person, you'll be able to kind of figure out from a personality standpoint, A, are they really that committed? Or B, you know, do they help you and make you a better person? 
and you know they may look great they may be a great you know great personality but if you're only thinking about themselves you're not being helped at all and i think we, we see men changing in the society now they're realizing that you know just having you know as you know having intercourse with a woman is not a big deal you know and god's told us this a long time ago right you know it, the, the idea is to procreate but it's not a big deal to have to do this the thing is is that you know women are interested in as much as men are the question becomes is this something you want to do is the ramifications of it possible pregnancy disease all this kind of stuff is that really that important or is that something that you're willing to take a chance and risk with with all these type of people and this is why most of the people that we now are talking to in this group and others are people who are fighting against this they don't want this and now you know satan has grabbed a hold so it's kind of hard to do that long distance relationships can help because it doesn't get you with that individual person but it also can hurt you because now you have a lot more free time cover that free time up with things you can do cover those things up where you're actually doing stuff like Labor Day today, uh, Vigor Warrior's wife is, is, is not here for the day. She's with uh, Vigor Warrior's daughters and out, you know, uh, you know, doing things. And I have so much things to do that I, you know, don't even think about it. And I think you have to kind of have that sort of thing mentality-wise. I don't actually have enough hours in a day, and I plan that purposely. Uh, I went swimming this morning, you know, if, five o'clock in the morning, swam for about 45 miles, about 1,500 yards. And at 63 years old, you know, I could barely make that, but I did do that. So that was good. That was the best I'd had for a long time. So, um, but then, you know, walking 20,000 steps I got in today so far. So, and doing yard work, all the kind of stuff, and then catching up with things I got to do for tomorrow. So I don't have enough time. I even watch TV sex stuff for ball games. I watched some football games yesterday, which was pretty good. Uh, it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. No, maybe it was, uh, it was um, Saturday. But focusing on getting things done, doing something. The idle person is always going to be the person who's more tempted. So when it's long distance relationships, it's possible that you're going to have a lot of time to think about that person. I, you know, whereas I wouldn't even think about, you know, as much as women have a lot of great qualities. It's great for men. Men need women. Women need men. I don't care what you hear on this, all the other type of stuff out there. They need each other. I mean, this has been proven for thousands of years. There's certain things. Women and men look at relationships differently. Men should be masculine. Females should be feminine. If that doesn't happen, when you got some kind of stuff going on there, stay away from that situation. Stay away from those situations. Don't, don't even touch those situations. They're going to have their own recompense for things they do god is going to give them their consequences those things happen i feel sorry for a lot of those people because they do not understand how they've been brainwashed they will at some point and it might be too late for them to change or sell down and i feel bad for that but on the other hand you have to protect yourself and not get yourself involved in those situations and it's a long-term situation long long-term or long distance relationship you have to be careful of that as you talk about it because this is something that's going to help you a lot. So, all right, friends, enough for today. I hope you guys have a continue happy Labor Day and uh, thanking all the people that contributed for us to get Labor Day uh, over all these years and, and worked hard. I appreciate that and uh, hope you guys continue to have a good rest of your day. We'll talk soon. I'm going to try to do the next one on should you approach women. And I think we've talked about that before, but knowledge, knowledge Harvester had a good question. And uh, we'll continue. We have a bunch of good topics coming in. All right, my friends. So until then, two things I always leave you with. First, every day is a great day and a new day to a great warrior. I think I got that right finally. And secondly, we are in a continual war. I don't know how, how, how we can explain this all the time. It's important to keep it on top of earth. And this is why I continue to say warriors unite because we are a group of warriors coming together. And we need to do that. We need to shake people up. And even when people get shaked up by my yelling, I'd rather have them notice this and actually think about this. And even at the end, when we talk about the battle on cry, it's important to recognize that we need to continue to fight this battle every day. Because Satan, the evil one, may hit you at any moment, whether it's long distance or not. And all of a sudden, now you're back to square one. And a lot of you guys have been writing... You know, you're released or something happens. Guys, I, I've been there for 47 years, so I know. I have totally empathy, total understanding. I, I know how you feel. But don't ever give up. Don't ever give up the fight because we have to continue to battle! God bless you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.